Today, I want to read to you from Acts chapter 1, verse 7, and talk to you about the principle that sometimes it's better not to know. Here it is, Acts chapter 1, verse 7. And Jesus said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. Just before he ascended to heaven, Jesus spoke with his disciples on the Mount of Olives. They asked, and this is in Acts chapter 1, verse 6, they asked if it was now the time for Jesus to restore the kingdom to Israel. That is, if it was time to fully establish the Messianic kingdom. Jesus answered the question by telling them, it is not for you to know. You see, Jesus warned the disciples against focusing on the details of the timing of God's kingdom, because those things belong to God the Father alone. As Jesus said, which the Father has put in his own authority. At the same time, Jesus did not say that there was to be no restoration of the kingdom to Israel. He simply said that focusing into the time and the date of the restoration was not proper for the disciples. It was as if Jesus said this to them. Don't think about that right now. I've got something more important for you to focus on. At the same time, I have to wonder, why didn't Jesus tell them more about how and about when, in general, the Messianic kingdom would fully be established. You see, the Bible teaches, and we certainly believe, that Jesus is God. Therefore, Jesus knew that history would continue for at least 2,000 years after that time. Why didn't Jesus tell the disciples? The disciples hoped that it would soon be that the kingdom was fully restored to Israel. But Jesus knew that it was better that they did not know that a lot of history would pass before it would happen. And for several reasons, I think it was wise for Jesus not to give a general outline of his plan over the next 2,000 years. Why he didn't say, hey guys, don't worry about it. It's not going to happen for at least 2,000 years. Why was this better? Well, here's a few reasons. First, if Jesus had told them, it's likely that they would have been overly discouraged. Well, if it's not going to happen for 2,000 years, what's the use? So it was better to not tell them. Also, they may have felt that if it wasn't going to happen for 2,000 years, that their present work would be useless when it was not useless. And it would be easy for them to think less of the aspects of God's kingdom that were present with them at the moment. Just because the kingdom would not be fully restored to Israel at the present moment, that it would take some 2,000 years, that did not mean that the kingdom of God was absent from the earth. And Jesus wanted them to understand that. Now, we could probably think of more reasons why it was better for Jesus to not tell the disciples about this 2,000 years or more period until his great return and the full restoration of the kingdom of Israel. But there's something important for us to learn from this. Here it is. When Jesus doesn't tell us something, he has a good reason for it. Now, that reason might be hard for us to accept, but it's a necessary part of discipleship. Not every question will be answered, and not every mystery solved, not on this side of eternity. And it doesn't mean that Jesus loves you any less. It doesn't mean that he is any less good to you. It simply means that Jesus knows that it is better for us to not know some things, or it is better for us to know them later. When you feel that Jesus won't answer your question, take comfort in the fact that sometimes it's better not to know. And just keep trusting Jesus, trusting him today.